Well, he was my boyhood hero, to be fair, you know. Um, you just had to do it. I mean, I've, I've had a day off work, I've lost a day's pay, you know. It's a small sacrifice to make, really, for what we saw down here when I was a child. I grew up with him watching it. Um, fabulous player, hustle and bustle, just smashed his way through the defences and scored all those goals. As a kid watching that, you know, you just... He just wanted to be like him. Back in the day, we used to come down here to watch him play football, and um, he was just a bit of a child blazer, really. We used to play football at the same time, um, and he just, he just like a proper, proper player, you know. He's, he's not much you could, not, not much you could describe, really, the sort of player he was to the baggies, and to, not to the baggies, but to Midlands football, but also to a lot of young, young kids who played football as well. Um, just an inspiration. He was a man that stood up for so much more than playing football. Man was a legend. A true icon, a pioneer as well. Uh, absolutely. You know, he was great on the field. But he was a great footballer, but he was a, a greater man off the field. Not for all the things that he did and all the things that he stood up for. And there's an awful lot of people that have got him to thank uh, for, for just showing leadership yeah. for doing that. I mean, when I was a child, when he, when he, when everything was happening back in the day, and, and I suppose that didn't sort of sink in as much as the power that he had up front in goal, and you know, scoring goals, etc. It's more so now when you look back at, at how it was back in the day, sure, and what he had to go through, and, and especially with everything that goes on now, and you know. Um, it makes you realise, doesn't it, that not just only was he a fantastic striker, but he had to put up with all that as well. We don't make him like that. And today, if he was playing today, you can imagine what sort of player and the impact he'd have on the game today, do you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, he's a top, top man and uh, truly, truly, truly do will be missed. What are your favourite memories of Sarah? Uh, actually, going all the way to Coventry to see, him bring, to see him bring the FA Cup back, to see his massive grin on the open top buzz, he deserved silverware with the baggies. He got it with Coventry. I had to go and see him to bring to bring that cup back. I had to go and see Cyril do that, just because Cyril was there. Yeah, um, he will be sorely, sorely missed. That smile, you never, you never replace that smile. Yeah, um, yeah. On many, a many a night out um, with the likes of those guys, there was always, no matter how much rubbish we put up with or prejudice we put up with, there was always a joke and a laugh at the end of the night, no matter what. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of people here today, a lot of locals from around this area, mm. a lot of people from out of town have come yeah. today just to, to pay the respect to, the, to a man who's uh, who graced the football pitch with a lot of dignity. Took a lot of, uh, as players back in the day, those days, took, took a lot of uh, stick like, but you know what? He answered them with just one, just one way. He played football. He, he just played with his feet. He was looked up to, wasn't he? I mean, you, you've seen all the other footballers who came following him. Uh, the black footballers who, who've all said that he inspired them to go out and play. Um, you know, and what can you say? With someone who can do that for people, then of course he's going to be a legend forever. 